Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about multicam clips in Final Cut. Final Cut has this great feature where you can bring in all your media from one shoot. So if you have multiple cameras or audio recording devices, you can sync them so easily in Final Cut and then you can cut between them with a push of a button. It's an amazing feature in Final Cut. If you haven't seen multicam editing in Final Cut before, you're gonna learn a lot today. Quick story at my production company, Plum Productions, we recently hired a new production manager and I could tell he was apprehensive about Final Cut because he'd always been a Premiere user and I promised him he would learn to love Final Cut the way that I do and this is the very feature that really won him over. He loves it and I know you're gonna love it too. And by the way, I should mention that if you're a Final Cut editor, but you're just sort of fumbling your way along and you want a deeper understanding, I have the perfect course for you. It's called Final Cut Rockstar. You can get it at my website, jenjager.com. I'll link directly to it in the description box. This course takes you through everything you need to know to really maximize Final Cut's potential, and I get a lot of great feedback on it. But back to the multicam clip tutorial, let's just talk about some quick best practices for using multicam clips in Final Cut. You wanna take some care on your shoot day to make sure you're setting yourself up for success in edit. One is that you wanna make sure that every single device you shoot on has some sort of audio recording on it. It doesn't have to be good audio, it just needs a little bit because that's what Final Cut uses to sync your clips. And the other thing is you wanna start and stop all of your devices at roughly around the same time. That's gonna help you keep track of things in the multicam editing process in Final Cut. So you should have the same number of clips from every single device, and they should roughly be about the same length. All right, let's just dive right into it. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to use multicam editing in Final Cut. All right, so here we are in Final Cut. Let me just show you what we're working with here. This first clip is our primary camera and this is the clip that has the best audio on it. We've got a boom mic suspended over her head and hardwired into the camera on this shot. Uh, personally, for growth opportunities, uh, they're endless. This second shot here is a secondary camera that is only using the internal microphone. So there is some sound on it, but the sound is not very loud or very clear. Uh, personally, for growth opportunities, uh, they're endless. So the first thing we need to do is tell Final Cut which camera each of these clips came from. So to do that, you're gonna select your clip in your browser. You're gonna head on over to your inspector window. You wanna make sure you're on this icon here. This is the info inspector. And you're going to look for this line here that says camera name. It should be blank. Now you can find camera name under several different options in this dropdown. Here it is under general, there's camera name. Under settings, there it is again, camera name, but you only need to fill it in in one of these fields and it will populate all of them. So for this primary camera, I'm gonna name it A. Let's go over to the second shot here. And this one we are going to name B. All right, now here's the time for the magic. We're gonna sync these two shots. So I just need to select both of them in my browser, right click, and the option you want is new multicam clip. And then you're gonna get this pop up here. So it's going to ask you what you want to name your clip. I'm going to call this synced interview. And you want to make sure this little box here is checked. Use audio for synchronization. That's definitely what we want. And I'm going to hit OK. And now it's automatically synchronizing my clip. I just have to wait. That didn't take long at all, did it? And look what I've got here in my browser. I suddenly have this new clip with this little grid icon in the top left, that is the icon that indicates that this clip is a multicam clip. So now what I'm going to do is start a new project. We're gonna call this configuration one. And I'm going to drop this here into my timeline. And now when I look and I run my playhead down my timeline, all we see is that main camera. But there's more than meets the eye here. If I double click on that clip, I can see that I've got two tracks here. The top clip is our primary camera, camera A, and underneath it is camera B. And if I hover my cursor over that track, we can see camera B. Right now, I'm only playing sound and showing video from camera A. And how do I know this? Because see these little icons here at the top of my clips? they are highlighted on this one 
and not on this one. So I just want to show you, we're not going to do much with this right now, but I just want to show you what happens. If I want to see the video from camera B, I just click this little icon. And now look what's happened. Personally, for growth opportunities, uh, I'm hearing the good sound, but I'm only seeing camera B. And you'll notice they're perfectly synced, aren't they? So what I want to do is turn back on this primary camera here. And I'm going to clean up the audio on this primary storyline because there is a track from the internal mic here. I'm just going to turn that off so we've isolated just the good sound. Uh, personally, for growth opportunities. And now at this point is where I would apply any filters or color correction to my clips. This is really important right now. It's a big time saver to do this now as opposed to later. So what I can do is just apply a color correcting plugin. I'm going to link to this plugin down in the description box. I love this $20 color correcting plugin from my FCP effects. And I can just toggle between my clips by hovering over the tracks just to check my color correction and fine tune any adjustments I want to make. All right, so that's all we need to do for now in this expanded multi-cam clip. So now we're gonna go back to our primary storyline just by hitting the back arrow. And there is our clip. And again, of course, we're just seeing that first camera angle. So how do we get to the part where we get to cut between these two different shots really easily? We're going to open what is called the angle viewer. You can find it here under view, show in viewer, and then angles or you can hit shift command and seven and that also opens up the angle viewer. And now look, I can simultaneously see both of my camera angles. Now, let me just show you a few things about the angle viewer you need to know that are really important. The first thing to know is that if you drop down on settings, you can have up to 16 different angles here. So you would get a lot of these little boxes if you had that many cameras. Um, I don't have that many cameras. I'm just gonna stick to two, but just know that Final Cut can handle like a really big production like that more than a two camera shot. So now let's focus on these icons here because they each do something different. This first film strip with the little audio waveform means that you're enabling switching between both video and audio. So in theory, every time I switched between camera A and B, I would be taking both the video and audio from camera A and the video and audio from camera B. This would probably work in a situation if you had like a two camera interview and you wanted to cut to whoever was talking and hear their microphone if they were each hooked up to their original camera. That is when you would use that first feature. The second icon lets us cut between camera angles, but not switch the audio sources. That's the one we're gonna be using for this particular project. And the next icon, this waveform enables audio only switching. So that you would probably use in a situation where if you had two people in one shot, but they each had two different audio sources and you wanted to show both of them at the same time, but only hear one of them talking. So you're not hearing the other person breathing or clearing their throat. That's the situation you would use that tool. The first way I'm gonna show you how to cut between these two camera angles is using the mouse. So you can see that my cursor is turned into these little scissors. I'm gonna start on the primary camera and then we're gonna cut to the second camera by clicking on this window at the appropriate time. Then we're gonna jump back to the primary camera, all while we're playing back on our timeline. Uh, personally, for growth opportunities, uh, they're endless. We have so many different outlets um, and spread throughout the uniqueness of all the different properties that do make up the Boca Raton. Um, hard work is recognized and, and moving through the different positions you know are, are available and there's a lot of support that goes along with it um, we're all one team it, it, everybody comes together and we all want to succeed together as a, as a collective okay so you can see there that I just roughly cut between my cameras so look in my timeline I've got cuts here on my multicam clip but what if I don't like exactly what I did or I want to trim out part of the sound bite? You guys, it's so easy. You just treat it like it's a regular clip in Final Cut. If I want to cut out part of a sound bite, you can just use your blade tool to cut out sections. 
And then if you wanna move where you made your cuts, I just grab that seam and that can take off this at the end, just like in normal editing. Now, if I change my mind and I wanna change this shot from the primary shot to the secondary shot and then come back to the primary shot, all I have to do is cue up my playhead to the beginning of that part of the clip and click the opposite camera angle and now I've switched it and then I wanna switch this one back to the primary. So I just cue up my playhead here and click the primary. So now we're ping ponging back and forth between these two shots. So that's how easy it is to do multicam editing in Final Cut. That's a very common real life situation you might have with the two cameras, one of them with the good audio, one of them with the bad audio. But what if you're in a different setup where you have two cameras, but the good audio is on a separate audio recording device. I know that comes up a lot, so I wanna show you how you would tackle that. It's just as easy. Let's take a look at what we've got going on on our second configuration. Here we've got the wide shot, but this wide shot only has the internal mic on it. This one here also only has the internal mic. And then the good audio can be found here on this audio track. Uh, personally for growth. So just like before, we need to assign each of these clips a camera name. Even though the audio isn't technically a camera, we do need to assign it a camera name. So let's make the primary one again, A. Let's make the secondary camera B once again. And this audio file, we're going to name C. And just like before, we're gonna select all of these three clips, right click, new multicam clip. And again, we're gonna use the audio for synchronization. There we've got our new multicam clip. It's got this little grid icon in it. Let's drag it down into the timeline and expand it by double clicking. So now this time you can see that it has selected this top clip here for audio. You can see it here. It's highlighted. The primary camera has the video assignment and then the second camera has no assignments to it. Right now, just like before, this is the point where you would do your color correction. Guys, while I'm copying and pasting my attributes to these raw video clips, let me know if you are enjoying this video. If you feel like you're learning something, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. So now again, let's go back to our primary storyline. I'm gonna trim up the fat on this. Let's turn on the angle viewer by hitting shift, command and seven. And let's change the display to four angles. And in this particular case, once again, we're gonna be set to the center icon. I'm going to leave angle one alone. I'm never gonna to touch this one, but I am gonna show you the other way to cut between clips using your keyboard. So last time I did it by clicking my mouse cursor over the window I wanted to see. In this case, we're gonna switch using the numbers on our keyboard. So in this case, because we never wanna switch uh, to angle one, angle one is our sound and it's gonna stay there forever. We're gonna use the two key and the three key to switch between these two different camera angles. So again, all I have to do is play it in my timeline, hit the space bar. And then if I wanna switch between cameras, I hit the two or three key. opportunities uh, they're endless we have three so many different outlets um, and spread throughout the uniqueness of all the different properties that do make up the go for its home two um, hard work is recognized and and moving through the different positions you know are, are available and there's a three lot of support that goes along with it um, we're all one team it, it, everybody comes together and that's it, it's that simple. So that's how multi-cam editing is done in Final Cut. It is so easy and user-friendly. You feel like you're right in a control room switching between your different camera angles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for creating with me today. I will see you again.